Hi, I'm Mike Chapola from Allen Hydraulics. Today we're going to talk about static electricity in manufacturing. We'll cover what makes it happen, issues that it creates, as well as the material that are prone to static. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon for notifications. So first, let's go over the basics of static electricity. All matter is made up of atoms, which consist of negatively charged electrons, positively charged protons, and neutrally charged neutrons. Normally, the electrons and the protons balance each other out, which is why most matter around us is electrically neutral. But electrons are very small in mass, so friction can cause loosely bound electrons to leave their atoms and attach to other surfaces. When this happens, the first object is left with more protons than electrons and becomes positively charged. The surface that now has more electrons than protons becomes negatively charged. This phenomena is called charge imbalance and the molecules with unbalanced charges are called ions. An ion will eventually find its way to resolve itself to achieve a neutral charge called equilibrium. When an ion comes into contact with another material, the extra electrons can quickly move from the negatively charged ion or will jump onto a positively charged ion. This movement of electrons is called electrostatic discharge, or ESD. This is what we recognize as the zap or spark we experience with static electricity. Static issues are more prevalent in the winter months when the air is dry, so manufacturers need to be vigilant in static abatement. A spark may seem small, but a single spark can generate up to 3,000 volts of electricity. The current is low, but is still dangerous to applications that deal with flammable materials. Fires and explosions have been attributed to ESD in the explosive industries, as well as other industries and manufacturing situations. Of course, this is the most severe effects of ESD and not the most common problem people face. Most manufacturers become frustrated with static because of its effects on their manufacturing process and damage it causes to their final product. Often, the movement and friction from the manufacturing line can be enough to ionize a product. This ionized product will now attract or repel other objects through the manufacturing line. As you can imagine, this can cause serious problems on the production floor when products are going through various stages, from assembly to packaging. Not only can it hold up your manufacturing process, but static can also damage or even destroy products. ESD is often unpredictable in its speed and amount of discharge, but it's not uncommon for a spark to damage a device's current carrying capability and decision capability. For example, in semiconductor applications, one zap can change the circuit's intended function, create lower yields, and loss of revenue. Malfunctions and effects from latent damage sometimes doesn't surface for days, weeks, or even months later after testing has already been completed. Another issue is the attraction of unwanted particles like dust, dirt, pollen, and bacteria. I'm sure you've been home and noticed the fine layer of dust that collects on your TV. This is static electricity at work. The charge generated by your TV attracts the dust and the dirt particles to stick to it. This same concept happens all the time in manufacturing. Ionized products attract electrons that carry unwanted particles covering the product in dust and in dirt. This creates quality issues for the final product and depending on the application, potential health hazards for the end user. Static has also become more of an issue with the increased production pressures, as manufacturers increase their production rates and reduce material costs by switching to synthetic materials, they create the perfect environment for static electricity. Although most materials can generate a positive or negative charge, synthetic materials are more likely to retain charges because they have low conductivity, so their charge is less likely to dissipate. 
positively charged material includes glass, Lexan, nylon, wool, lead, aluminum, and paper. Negatively charged materials include hard rubber, polyester, silicon, and the list goes on. All these materials are common in the manufacturing and have a tendency to attract electrons. So now you've learned the shocking truth about static electricity in manufacturing. For many reasons, static electricity is a concern for most manufacturers and can cause expensive issues with the machine line. Luckily, static discharge can be eliminated by following some simple practices and incorporating different technologies. So stay tuned to part two, where we learn how to remove static discharge from your manufacturing line. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss it. See you next time and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video.